Hey, what's up? How's it going, everybody? Hey, this is Jason uh, from West Coast Sustainables, and you got Kana behind the camera and the friendly dog. And uh, we're out here today trying to work. But uh, we're going to take an existing system that was done about uh, about six years ago, and this is a grid tie with battery backup. Uh, it has uh, all the Xantrex equipment, the XW6048s, and uh, we're going to remove all that and just convert this over to a standard grid tie system. Uh, he had some problems with it um, throughout the time. It uh, tend to lose cell features, so he'd have big bills. He wasn't able to kind of monitor some of the stuff properly. It was kind of a confusing install also. So we're gonna pull that all out and just put a system in that's gonna make him money. And we're gonna use the new SMA SB 6.0. Um, great inverter, I'll give you guys some information about that later. But uh, we have an existing, uh, there's uh, two pole mounts, they're DPWs, 18 panels each. You can see both arrays. Um, we're going to take these 18 panels and rewire them for an off-grid setup where they're running uh, strings of three. We're going to make them uh, two strings of nine per each array. That should be great voltage for the uh, SMA inverter. One of the neat things about these new inverters we're seeing come out with the TL series, they have such a wide MPVT voltage range that you can really put some smaller strings on them and still have a good efficiency. So you can see we got the poles. We're going to pop up. Uh, we're going to rewire these very easy with all the MC4 connectors and then we're gonna go in the room power room over here we're gonna come in here and basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull off all the Xantrex stuff we're gonna get in here remove that we're gonna install just a standard electrical sub panel and rewire it so that we can put the grid tie inverter in here and then kind of prep everything so that we can put a generator in later. He decided that the infrequencies of losing power uh, it was only a couple times over the last or maybe three times over the last six years so he decided what we're gonna do is just put a plug in here and make a safety bypass so that if he loses power and he really wants to run stuff he just has to plug a generator in and start it. It's gonna be much safer. Uh, we'll put the, the solar on the front so it can't back feed it and give them a little easier system and just make more solar so they can save money. Um, you can see that along the way with some of the problems he had, the 8D batteries, the, it was originally sold so that he would be able to like sell off the batteries later at night to capture a little extra power. This battery bank was never big enough to do that. The DC240s, this is a 200 amp hour battery I think, uh, with 400 amp hours, you know, that's not a lot of extra selling capacity in my opinion. Uh, to really warrant trying to sell off the batteries. This would have been more of like a backup type bank to me, but because of the, the extreme usage of the system, the batteries actually exploded. Um, so we're gonna remove all this stuff and just put again, again, uh, just a standard grid tie so that he can get the best bang for the buck with the array that he has. So I'm Jason, we'll be back in a little while or in the next couple days and we'll show you some more about what we did. Have a great day.